I know I'm a little bit late since July is like halfway over, but this Shop My Stash will probably just carry over a little bit farther into August with the products that I choose today. So yeah, I just want to go ahead and jump in and get started. So let's start out with the products that I've been using for the past month before I show you the products that I'm going to use for the upcoming month. Okay, you guys, so let's just jump right into the products that I have been using for the last month. As you can see, we're already in my drawer. So I want to start off by talking about this Tarte Baba Bomb. This moisturizer, very, very nice. I love this stuff. I don't know if they even sell it anymore, but it's super thick and rich and creamy. Um, it has this, you know, little dispenser here where you push it you know, and the product comes out the middle. So it's kind of fun to use, kind of unique, but yeah, very, very nice, thick, rich, creamy moisturizer. Now I will say I hit the jackpot with my foundations this go round because all three of the foundations that I chose are really, really excellent foundations. This CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear this is a light airbrush finish and it's 24 hour. I really love this stuff. This is a great everyday foundation. I have the shade Warm Tawny 872. And yeah, this is a really, really good everyday foundation. A nice, beautiful, natural finish. And this one has SPF 18 in it as well. Now, my next foundation that I used was this Gucci. <laughs> Wanted to go ahead and play around with this. And this is a beautiful foundation. It really is. Um, I don't think it's necessary. You know, it's a little bit pricey, but it really does have a nice, beautiful, natural finish. I think for the shade that I have, which is 410W Medium Deep, this is more of like my winter shade, you know, probably like fall, winter, because I am a little bit deeper than this right now, but I can still use this. Really nice foundation, but not really necessary when we have amazing drugstore foundations. And then lastly for foundation, I did go ahead and pull this makeup by Mario. Now this is honestly one of my favorite foundations. I love the finish, I love the coverage, um, I have the shade 230 and it's perfect for me. I mean, it just looks beautiful on the skin. Nice natural foundation, you know, natural looking foundation, but it does have excellent coverage. So really enjoyed this. Now for primer, I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer this go round. Like this stuff a lot. It's, you know, extremely similar to the Milk Makeup Primer. Works really well. I really love the kind of tackiness of this and how it really helps my foundation adhere to my skin, you know, to make it last longer throughout the day. So really, really love this stuff. Now for this Fenty Primer, this Pro Filter uh, Instant Retouch Primer, <laughs> I honestly feel like this is just, it doesn't really do anything that I like a primer to do. It doesn't fill my pores. It doesn't blur out my skin. It is moisturizing, which is interesting. But yeah, it's just like me putting on an extra product that doesn't really do anything for my skin. So I don't know. It's a soft matte, but it doesn't make my matte, my face look matte. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. <laughs> Now, this Becca um, Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector, I've had this for quite a while, as you can see, you know, it's Becca, I don't even know, are they still in business anymore? But this almost got decluttered, but I changed my mind because this stuff will literally suck the life out of your face. It will make your face so matte 
and just so I don't even know how else to describe it. It's kind of it is a little bit drying to be honest with you. It's just super super matte. The reason why I kept it is because for those days when you want your makeup to last all day and all night, literally without it moving or you getting oily, this is the perfect primer for that. So that's the only reason why I kept this is for those rare occasions where I'm just going to be out all day, you know, like on vacation or something and partying all night or something. And I want my makeup to look perfect the whole day. That's why I kept this because this stuff, it, it will make your face so matte. It just, your makeup will not move <laughs> if you use that. Now, these other items I have in here, I just keep in my drawer, you know, on a regular basis. I have the Milani SPF BFF. This is FPF, SPF 30 primer, so it's good to just keep this in here to remind me to use SPF on my face. And then I have my P. Louise base. You guys know I use this for my eyeshadow base all the time, so that stays. Now, for the concealers that I chose... I did go ahead and use this Kiss Professional Concealer. I really like this stuff. This is the shade Warm Coconut. And this is um, really reminiscent to me of my Juvia's Place Concealer or like my L'Oreal Concealer. You know, some of my favorite everyday concealers. I really like that because this is a affordable you know option as far as concealer goes it, there's a lot in the package it goes on nice great coverage and it blends out beautifully it does not dry out quickly or easily so yeah i really really like this uh concealer the other concealer that i chose was this jacqueline cosmetics concealer i got this on sale at morphe when they were closing their stores i had tan deep golden this is not a concealer that I would reach for on a regular basis because it dries too quickly. Um, when I tell you it dries before I even finish putting it all over my face to blend it out, it's dry. So yeah, I don't like that about this. And I'm not really that fond of how it looks on my skin, you know, because it is so dry. So yeah, this is one that I won't really reach for that often, I don't think. That one, the Jaclyn Concealer, might work a lot better as a eyeshadow primer because it's so dry. I also pulled my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is like one of the OG concealers from back in the day, and I wanted to just kind of revisit it, and I really like it. I really, really do. I see why this, you know, was so popular back in the day. So, yeah, enjoyed using that. And then, you guys know, I always keep my Juvia's and my Essence uh, camouflage concealers in here. These are my emergency rescue concealers. So those always stay. Now for setting spray, I was still using the um, Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. Really like this stuff. It works amazing as far as setting my makeup and having a nice matte look. And it holds my makeup pretty much all day. So yeah, really enjoying that. I'm going to, mm, I'm going to switch this out. I'm not sure. For now, it's going to stay in the drawer. Now, this I actually tried out because I picked it up from Ulta, the Morphe Mini Continuous Prep and Set Mist. Now, I got the mini because I wanted to try it out. Turns out I love this stuff. I love using it before my makeup, you know, to kind of prep my face. And then I also really, really like how it set my makeup so yeah this one i really really like this one um i like so much that i actually ordered the full size so yeah loving that that's gonna stay now for my mascaras um i really have been using this maybelline the falsies lash lift for the most part every time i do my makeup i haven't really been using my other mascaras that i have in here i'm really trying to just go through and finish up the ones that I have before I open up new ones because these things they can last me forever especially when wearing false lashes I don't use a lot of mascara but I have found that I do really like this at first I was kind of giving it a hard time but the more that I used it I don't know if it's you know kind of the older it gets the better it works for me but it really does add lift and volume and length and you know those days when I don't want to put on false lashes my lashes look really nice with this uh mascara so 
I'm going to keep using that. Now, I also keep all of my lip products in this drawer. I just have a bunch of uh, lipsticks and lip glosses in here that I use on a regular basis. As you can kind of tell, I do have a type. <laughs> I do have a type. I'm really just drawn to more of the peachy, rosy lipsticks and glosses. So I just keep those in here so that I can get through them. So they pretty much just stay. Okay, so for this next drawer, I do have my highlighters, my blush, my contour and bronzer and then i also have my face powders and as you can see some lashes that i've thrown on top because i was actually using these i was supposed to be using my ColourPop lashes but i saw someone on instagram i think it was makeup by tammy and she had some of these kiss lash couture matte black faux mink lashes and i was like oh my gosh they looked so beautiful on her and I wanted to try them. So I ordered some on Amazon and I actually really like them. They look really, really nice um, with my eye look. So that's why this is in here. <laughs> um, another pair of lashes that I use the heck out of are these CL Lashes Silky Band um, 3D Human Hair Lashes. And these um, are kind of dramatic, but not super, super full if that makes any sense. As you can see, mine are pretty beat up because I've used these several times. Um, really, really cute. So yeah, those are the lashes that I was wearing. Didn't get around to using my ColourPop lashes yet. Okay, so for powders, I do have this Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Powder. This is one of my favorites. So, you know, easy to use. I love the shade. I have Almond. And yeah, this is just a really, really nice loose powder. I use this under my eyes and it looks beautiful. It's like the perfect color. It's a nice consistency, if you will. So really, really like that. This um, lip bar powder. So this one is in Beauty Bronze. And this is a finishing powder, but I was really using it as a setting powder. And it just... It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful shade. I love the finish. It worked out nicely for me, so I do love that. Of course, I have my KVD powder. <laughs> if you know, then you know. This is actually a powder foundation. I wear the shade Deep 200. It is my favorite, absolute favorite. So that stays in the drawer for emergencies. And then I did go ahead and play with this Maybelline Fit Me. Um, pressed powder in 355 coconut and I really enjoyed this as well I already knew I would probably like it because I've used the loose powder you know before so yeah I just wanted to have it impressed really like this stuff excellent drugstore face powder for highlighters oh this NYX born to glow so pretty so so pretty this was one of my new purchases in uh, was in May, I believe. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. Um, I didn't really play around with this, you know, this peachy side too much. I don't know if you can even see that. There's no light coming this way. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. Um, this is the one, you know, that I was using. The more bronzy gold side. But this one is really pretty as well. If you like more of like a glittery glow then you'll probably like that but just all in all this is a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter and i really enjoy using it now this little trio here um is from adept cosmetics this is not how this trio comes i kind of you know mixed and matched mine and put these three highlighters together and kind of like took out the blush and the bronzer because it didn't work for me. So I just made myself a little highlighter trio from these three shades and very, very pretty. Um, honestly, I can use all three of these. I focus on the dark one, of course, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you want to check out the Adept Cosmetics face trios, I don't even know if they still sell them. I would assume that they do but they have like three different shades to choose from and i just kind of created my own little palette now for um 
This Huda Beauty, I've had this for quite a while. I've used it several times and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the Thea Nymph Kiss Glow Blush. So I guess it's supposed to be a blush, but for me, this is a highlighter. And it is an absolutely beautiful highlighter. <laughs> it has like the rosy gold tones in there and it's just so gorgeous. Next, I have this apple highlighter. This is from uh, I Heart Revolution. It is the Tasty Apple. I've had this for a while as well. And this is one of my beautiful go-to highlighters. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, kind of like, mm, I mean, I feel, I don't know. This is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but oh, she pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, that's beautiful. I just love this highlighter. It's an easy choice for me when I'm shopping my stash because I know I'm going to love it. And then I tried out this Sephora uh, Golden Hour. This is um, actually a liquid highlighter. So I use this on my cheekbones, you know, and nose and stuff like that on top of powder. And it works beautifully. And I also used it underneath my foundation and it was really really gorgeous it's not like a blinding highlight a lot comes out when you squeeze it so you gotta kind of be careful but it's not a blinding highlighter you know when you put it on your fa your face or your skin it truly does just give you like a glow within type of look it's really really pretty so it looks amazing under foundation as well as on top of the rest of your makeup. So really like that. Now for blush, let me go ahead and just pull some of these blushes over here. So I don't have to reach throughout this whole video. I did go ahead and use uh, one of the new Juvia's Place, what is it, the liquid blushes that they have. I pulled Perky Poppy so gorgeous <laughs> these blushes are so so beautiful you can use them you know with a sponge with a brush with your finger they're just absolutely gorgeous and really easy to use and extremely pigmented so had fun with that the l'oreal infallible um blushes the new ones that they came out with they're very nice i wouldn't say they're anything like remarkable that i didn't already have in my collection so I guess I really got drawn in by all of the pictures and stuff of, you know, new blush. And plus, I love blush, so it's not hard to draw me in for a blush. But it worked beautifully, nicely buildable. Um, like I said, it didn't knock my socks off or anything like that. So, yeah, would I say you absolutely need it? Not really for the price. I think the drugstore prices are kind of getting out of hand. Um, if you're going to pay that amount for one of these, you may as well get you like a really, really nice um, blush that is a little bit more expensive, but will give you more bang for your buck. So this is the shade Fearless Coral. It's beautiful. Do I think it's worth the price? Not really, because I have some cheaper blushes that actually do more. The Danessa Myricks um, Beauty. This is the Yummy Skin Dancing Queen blush. Gorgeous. So, so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love a good, uh, powerful, pigmented cream blush. And this is definitely that. Her stuff is extremely pigmented. And um, this blush is no different. So you do ha kind of have to be careful when you're using this. I kind of like to go in and put a little bit on my uh, damp beauty blender and just kind of tap it out on my skin before I put it on my cheek because it is very, very pigmented. Next, I have this Amuse Cosmetics blush. I'm sure I got this from Shop Miss A or one of those dollar type beauty stores. This is Perfect Bliss beautiful shade i don't even think i reached for it though i don't i don't recall reaching for this i think i was so caught up with the danessa myricks and um you know trying out the l'oreal that i didn't even pull this but this is really a beautiful blush it is a gorgeous like everyday type shade for me it just leaves a nice hint of color on my cheeks if you can see that so 
This is beautiful. Don't know if they still sell it, but if you come across it, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous everyday blush. Now this Sydney Grace blush, um, I actually just put it in this little <laughs> uh, holder, as you can see here. I don't remember where I got this from. This blush is gorgeous, okay? This is Pink Raz from Sydney Grace. And I believe they actually sent this to me free when I ordered some shadows from them a long time ago. And it's just, uh, so I don't know if they still sell it or not. But it's a gorgeous pinky shade blush and it has like a little bit of glow to it. So when you use this or when I use it as a blush, I don't typically, you know, put highlight on as well because it does have a little bit of a beautiful glow to it. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous pink blush. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish out this drawer. <laughs> you guys know I have my Danessa Myricks um, bronzer in here. This one is in the shade Deep, and I complain about this bronzer every single time I do my shot mustache, so we're not going to talk about it today. It's staying in here. I also keep my Uma Beauty stick in here as well. This is one of their duo sticks, Double Take 3, and it's the one that has like the bronzer as well as the highlight on there, and this is one of those products that I do just keep in my drawer all the time. This Gucci bronzer here that I pulled, Eclat Soleil 05, I know I love this bronzer, but for some reason it just wasn't doing it for me. This go round, it was not doing it for me. And I feel like it's because, you know, it's um, summertime and I've been outside doing my thing. I'll come over here, it's a little bit of light, more light over here. But I've been outside kind of doing my thing and it's not bronzing me the way I'm used to it bronzing me. So I feel like this is definitely one of my fall winter bronzers that I need to pull because right now it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave, okay? <laughs> but it is a beautiful bronzer and I know that. So now, you want to talk about yeah. a bronzer that has been working for me. This minted ABF collab bronzer that I bought psh, years ago. It was their collab with Ashley Blaine Featherson, and I have season two that I've been using. Listen, this bronzer is like <laughs> perfect for me right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see right there, I actually hit pan. I've been using this stuff so much, and it's crazy because it's been in my drawer forever, and I'm just pulling it out now and really, really playing with it. I love it. This stuff is amazing. So, yeah, I don't know if they still have any of these. It seems like something that would have been temporary, but it's perfect for me. So, if you have this, pull it out, play with it, because I'm loving it. So, that is it for this drawer, you guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the palettes that I've been using. Okay, you guys. So, I just have my stack of palettes here that I have used over the past month. Now, this first one here is from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. Absolutely gorgeous purple palette called Royalty. Very easy to use, five pan purple palette. This is what she looks like. And I will go ahead and, you know, just show the pictures of my looks like I always do. And with this palette, like I said, very, very easy to use. I believe I used every shade in this palette, yeah just five pans and absolutely gorgeous. I love playing and makeup by Yolando's palettes. If you know, you know, because <laughs> I talk about her all the time, but yeah, very beautiful, easy to use purple palette. This next palette here is from Gourmand Girls. This is the Warriors Wear Pink, and it's actually a collab palette, and part of the proceeds are going to support her. Um, in her battle with cancer. So I'll go ahead and put her name on the screen if you want to check her out. But yeah, this palette was actually sent to me. They actually asked me if they could send me this for me to try out and play with. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. This is a gorgeous palette. It has some surprising shimmers in here. The mattes are beautifully pigmented. It was very easy to use, um, which I already like Gourmand Girls um, palettes. But this one really surprised me, and it's probably because I'm not really into reds and pinks, but with the other extra pops of color in here, it really helps to create a beautiful eye look. So I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun using this palette. 
Next, I have my Alice in Wonderland from Sigma. <laughs> I've had this one for quite a while. Psychedelic packaging, right? And I just was dying to use it. So I finally got a chance to play with it. And I have to say, I was not disappointed. Absolutely beautiful. I had so much fun using this palette. The quality of the shadows is really, really nice. It is. And I'm glad that I finally tried it out because I have quite a few Sigma palettes that I purchased because I love the color story, but hadn't really tried the formula yet. So I really enjoyed using this. Very easy to use, blendable, buildable, and the shimmers were quite surprising. They're very, very beautiful. Next, I have here the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. This came out recently and I just had to get my hands on it. And it's funny because it came out around the same time as the Nomad Cosmetics palette with a similar color story. But um, after using them, they are quite different. You know, there are certain things that I love, really love about the Nomad palette. And then there are other things that I really love about this palette. So yeah, I really had a good time using this. I don't even think I took any pictures. So whatever I'm inserting, it's probably from the video that I did using this palette because I don't recall taking pictures, but yeah. It's a surprising palette because the swatches were looking kind of dusty. <laughs> if I'm being honest, they were looking kind of dusty. But when I actually put it on my eyes, it was beautiful. So yeah, I'm really glad to have this as part of my Natasha Denona collection. Next, this Berry Icy from Simply Posh. Listen, when I tell you that I was dying to use this palette, first of all, I was dying to buy it. Then when I got it, and saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dying, to, I'm dying to use it. Gotta use that color story. And then when I actually used it, listen, listen, I want all the palettes, all of the palettes, okay? <laughs> Every palette that they come out with, I want it. So whichever one I'm, ones I missed, I'm like irritated. But yeah, the formula, oh my gosh, so nice, easy to use, beautifully pigmented blendable and the shimmers listen the shimmers very very surprising to me okay so yeah and i love the fact that i can take these shadows out and move them around and stuff if i want to probably won't but i do like the fact that i have that option so yeah really enjoyed this palette from simply posh now this is the nomad Oka bango safari palette <laughs> love this packaging okay and they did send me this palette i am on their pr list and i love receiving their palettes and playing with them and this one i was really excited to play with because it's like i have beautiful bright colorful palettes from nomad now which i'm super excited to have in my collection and then to have this gorgeous kind of earthy neutral and green you know tone palette with the whole safari theme i think it's beautiful so yeah created a gorgeous eye look with this and really really enjoyed using it enjoyed swatching it now with their shimmers they don't have that you know just super bright duochrome look to them and everything in this palette but they are extremely beautiful with these matte shades so really like this now this blooming lovely i've had this in my collection for quite a while and it is a beautiful colorful palette <laughs> as you can see i can do a world of things with this palette love having it had a lot of fun playing around with it i kind of did some you know mixing and matching of colors with you know greens and reds and things like that and having a little fun with it and that's really what i love about these palettes is you could just have fun with them so yeah enjoyed it i think this is a great affordable eyeshadow formula easy to use easy to blend um and the shimmers are pretty as well you know there's not a whole lot of shimmers in this palette but the ones that are in here are really pretty and then lastly i did go ahead and play with the juvia's culture too i it's so funny because when i got this palette i just immediately was like okay let's play immediately it's just it's so beautiful the shimmers in here are gorgeous Oh my gosh, I actually really want to play with this some more. So I might go ahead and leave this for the upcoming month in my Shop My Stash. But it's a beautiful palette. These shades are beautiful. The shimmers are beautiful. It's just gorgeous. So 
yeah really really loved using this and not surprised at all it's like i don't know if someone doesn't really like juvia's shadows i'm not sure why because i love them so anyways that is that okay you guys in an effort to save me a little bit of time and stress i did go ahead and pre-shop i'm sorry my apologies i did pre-shop without you guys but I will show you everything I did choose for this upcoming Shop My Stash. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with the moisturizer that I chose. This is the OK Chalk Chalk Glowing Moisturizer with Citrine. I did go ahead and pull this, have not used this in forever. Um, hopefully it's still good and doesn't make my face break out, but I really love this stuff. It really, really adds a glow underneath your moisturizer and it has kind of like a little bit of a pink, pinky glow. So it's kind of cool. So I did pull that. For uh, primers, I picked two primers. The first one is this Revolution Mattify Matte and Fix Primer. Um, I'm not sure if I've used this before, so I'm really excited to try this out. So we'll see how this does. I also pulled this Ciate London Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. So this is more of a glowy primer. So I like to kind of pull a matte and then a glowy and, you know, sometimes a pore feeling. But I'm just going to go with these two this go round. For foundation, I did choose the Clinique Even Better Broad Spectrum SPF 25 Serum Foundation. I just picked this up recently, so I will be trying this one out this go around and see how I like it. Um, what shade is this? Is that the shade A80? I don't know, you guys. I think it's A80, but if not, then I'll let you guys know once I find out. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and play with this House Labs. This is their Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And in this one, I have the shade, it looks like 460 Medium Deep Warm. I don't know if you guys can see that better than I can, but that is the shade that I have. And this is what it looks like. I love this bottle. It's so sleek and it does have a pump. So I will keep you guys updated on that. I also pulled this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And this one, I have Coco C8. I've had this for quite a while. They might not even sell this anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and play with this, see how I like it, see if it needs to be decluttered or what. Now, for concealers, I pulled the two newest concealers to my collection. This first one is this L'Oreal True Match. This is an eye cream in a concealer, so I guess it's supposed to um, assist with the dark circles and bags or whatever under your eyes. 24 hour hydration. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna be trying that. And I do have, what shade is this? C78, so yeah. So that'll work. I have the L'Oreal foundation and then I'm also going to be using the concealer. I didn't realize that I just did that, but I just did that. <laughs> and then I also chose the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. I'm really excited to use this because I know this is like a favorite for a lot of people and I never tried it and it looks beautiful, very promising. So we'll see how that one goes. Now, for powders, let's talk about powders right quick. I did pull my Danessa Myricks. This is the new loose powder in Deep Peach that I did pick up from Beauty Bay. I'm really excited to try this, okay? I'm assuming it's going to be really nice. It looks like a beautiful shade for under my eyes. And yeah, I am. I am really excited to try this out. So I'll let you guys know how this goes. For my face, setting my face, I pulled my new NARS powder. This one is Seafront Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. And it just looks so beautiful to me. It looks gorgeous. So I'm going to see how that holds up. Now, what is this? Oh, I also pulled this. This is the one size dark, deep, loose setting powder. I don't know about this. I'm not sure if I tried this or not. I believe I got this 
back when I was getting my boxy charm still, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I do believe that's possibly where I got this from because I don't recall buying it. But it is open already, so I'm pretty sure that I either tried it or, you know, swatched it at least. So we'll see how this goes. I don't typically like to use loose setting powders, but I'm going to try this out and see how it you know, works for me. Now for bronzing, I do have three bronzers. I decided I wanted to kind of play around with some liquid bronzing, you know, um, with my foundation and concealer application. So I did pick up a few darker shades of concealers. I got one, this one in e.l.f., which is the shade Ebony. So I feel like this is going to work out as a nice bronzer shade for me. And we'll see how that goes. It's really... Um, you know, I love the e.l.f. concealer already, so I'm hoping that this will work out nicely as a bronzer. I also grabbed my Melt Bronzer in Long Beach. This is the Ultra Matte Powder Bronzer. I just picked this up from Sephora not too long ago. You might have seen it in my recent haul, but it's a beautiful shade of bronzer. Cannot wait to try that out. And then I have this new ColourPop Bronzer. This is Moonlight Beach. This one, I'm really excited to see how it works out for me. The color looks beautiful, but you never know. I'm really curious about the pigmentation and how it's going to lay um, with my other makeup products. Okay, let's talk about some blushes. I did pull quite a few blushes. Y'all know I love blush. So, <laughs> yeah. So this first one here, and I like to have different shades of blush, you know, kind of like orangey coral, um, plummy purples, rosy pinks, you know, just all kind of beautiful shades. So this one here is Coral, and this is one of the Beauty Bay blushes that I have. I've used it before. It's a beautiful shade of blush, nicely uh, buildable and pigmented, and just gorgeous for the summertime. So I did pull that. I also pulled this Marc Jacobs. This one is, what color is this? Tantalizing, 218 tantalizing so um it's very hard to open though so i don't pull it that often for that reason <laughs> it's not easy to open but it is a gorgeous shade of blush and it is very pigmented too really pigmented really beautiful so pull that um for my newer blush um that i'm going to be trying out this is one of my uma beauty duos double take skin perfecting blush duo in bronze venus so this is the color that I chose to try out and it's really pretty. It has like that plummy kind of vibe to it and it has a beautiful highlight in there as well. So we'll see how that goes, you guys. I have this House Labs, dying to try this. This one is Watermelon Bliss. I don't know how I didn't remember that name because it definitely looks like a slice of watermelon absolutely gorgeous really curious to see how this is going to perform because some blushes look beautiful and then you put you know them on and they go missing in action so we'll see how this one works out and then i did go ahead well this is not a blush this is i got a blush with this duo but this is actually the lip product so in that little tower 28 duo blush and lip duo I did want to make sure that I tried out this lip product. So I went ahead and threw this in here. Ciao. Does that say sesame, you guys? I don't know. But anyways, that's the shade. That's what it is. It's gorgeous. Whatever the name is, it's pretty. <laughs> so I grabbed that. Now for highlight, I did grab three different highlighters. This one is from Physicians Formula. And this is actually, I think, supposed to be like a bronzer. But for me, it is a um, highlight in warm nude. And the packaging, or should I say the style of this, really reminds me of that new, I think it's Gwen Stefani that has like the highlighters or whatever that I've seen at Sephora. But it instantly reminded me of this. And so when I was choosing my highlighters, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and grab that and see how I feel about it. You know, it's a very light you know, it's Physicians Formula, okay? But it's a very light-toned highlighter, but it does have some beautiful 
deeper shades down here. So we'll see how that goes. I also pulled my beautiful Dior. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. This one is copper gold. And so this is the Backstage Glow Face Palette. And these are just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that, but they are so beautiful. So I did pull that. And then lastly for highlight, I did pull the Tatiana Anissa Cosmetics Get Lit Highlighter Palette. Okay, this palette is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I don't pull it that often and I'm like, girl, why? <laughs> you see all those different shades of highlight in there and I really like even the you know lighter ones up top because I like to use those like in my inner corner and you know for eye looks and stuff so yeah it is so pretty let me just swatch a few of these so you guys can see what I mean you know about how beautifully gorgeously pigmented it is it's beautiful and it's super duper glowy and shiny so very pretty tatiana anisa cosmetics now i have a whole drawer full of like sample stuff makeups lipsticks and stuff that i get from sephora and a lot of times i give them away but this one i kept this is the ysl um velvet cream lipsticks and this one has like it's a sample of all these different shades of lipstick and I want to try them out. I may as well play with them, you know, and see if I like any of them and decide to purchase one. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and throw this in my shop, my stash. So very, very cute little samples to play with. And then lastly, I have here some lashes, my lollipop lashes. I've had these for quite a while. You know, you can use them over and over again several times. I love this little kit because you get the three styles of lashes and you get the little applicator and it comes in this cute little box that you can store them in but yeah i've had this forever and i wanted to go ahead and use these this go round they're really pretty i've already used them before but yeah they're really pretty so let's go ahead and run through these palettes <laughs> that i have chosen for this upcoming month okay so this first one here is a Pat McGrath Star Wars palette. This one is the Divine Droid, okay? The colorful one. It's really pretty, you know, if you're into Star Wars and whatnot. Very controversial packaging because it is just a sticker on here and her stuff is pretty expensive. <laughs> but anyway, this is what this palette looks like. Really, really gorgeous. So I'm going to play with that. I also pulled this uh, Stack em Up from P. Louise. You guys know that they they just came out with this gigantic new palette, just like the rest of their other gigantic palettes, and it's all purple. And even though it's completely unnecessary, child, I cannot wait to get that palette in my hands, okay? Because I love purple, and I can't wait to get it in my hands. But anyway, this is their small green palette. You know, you've probably seen it before on my channel. Um, I want to use it, so pull that. I also pulled this Juvia's Place, the Nubian Earth, okay? This was a palette that snuck up on me because I didn't even know that it existed. And when I saw it, I was like, I mean, I do collect her palettes, but I was like, how did I miss that? So I purchased this a while back when I saw it and I wanted to pull it because I like to have some neutral shades to play with with my color, so went ahead and pulled that um i also pulled these two palettes from give me glow they were having a sale i don't remember if it was last year i don't remember when it was but i kind of like stocked up on palettes that they had come out with that i didn't previously purchase when i wasn't really you know doing my makeup thing so this first one here is the give me glow nightlife palette so pretty and these palettes are you know magnetic palette you can take the shades out move them around switch them around do what you want but this one is gorgeous with the blues and the greens and the beautiful shim shims and this one is uh oh they're both nightlife but which is which do they have different names i hate when they do that anyway this one is like a corally you know purpley one so it's really pretty it has some yellow in there gorgeous shimmers so pulled those two 
And then I got the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Into the Night. I showed this in my recent haul video. So yeah, I gotta get my hands on these shimmers. I wanna play with this, very, very pretty. And the new Cosmos palette from ABH. I, oh, I can't wait to play th with this. I almost already played with this, but I decided to go ahead and wait for this Shop My Stash to use it. But, oh, so pretty. Look at that. I don't even know if you guys can see how gorgeous it is, but it is so pretty. And then I grabbed my new ColourPop Lavish palette. So it's a beautiful kind of cool lavender tones. Very cool, very pretty, not shades that I would normally gravitate to. So I'm really curious to see how this eye look is going to look on me because they're pretty, very pretty. I pulled my new Morphe Magic Mirror Palette, the 35MI. I don't even know how old this palette is, but it's new to me, child. So I pulled this very, very basic, boring palette, but... You guys know I'm going to rock the heck out of this palette. However I can, I'm going to rock it, okay? Um, and then I did go ahead and pull the Beauty Bay Berries palette. Beautiful, gorgeous berry tones. If you have seen this before or not, that's what she looks like. Oh, I've already used the smaller one that I have. I have a nine pan berry palette. It's beautiful. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing in these shimmers because there's more shades for me to choose from in this mid-size palette. And lastly, my blend bunny grunge. Oh my gosh. Ah, sugar and grunge. It's like the name of this is just, mm, it's perfect, okay? It's perfect. Look at this palette. Like, what? Look at this. Look at those shimmers. Ah, I just... I have no words. I have no words. I just need to dive into this palette, okay? It's beautiful. Gorgeous. I love the packaging. I love the shades. I love it all. I love their quality of shadows as well. So cannot wait to dive into this. So that's it, you guys, for this month's Shop My Stash. Thank you so much for hanging out with me to, you know, choose these products and talk about the ones that I've already used. I'm so excited to try these out and give you my thoughts and first impressions. So don't forget to hit like, leave me a comment. And if you're not already subscribed to your girl, definitely consider subscribing if you like my content. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Toodles! <laughs>